Hi. Let's learn about floating charges. A floating charge, also known as a floating lien, is a security interest or lien over a group of non-constant assets that may change in quantity and value. Floating charges allow business owners to access capital secured with dynamic or circulating assets. The assets backing the floating charge are short-term current assets, usually consumed by a company within one year. The floating charge is secured by the current assets while allowing the company to use those assets to run its business operations. Current assets are those business possessions that the firm can quickly liquidate for cash and include the accounts receivable, inventory, and marketable securities, among other items. For example, if inventory is used as collateral for a loan, the company can still sell, restock, and change the value and quantity of its inventory, a floating charge allows for these changes in value and quantity. Crystallization is the process by which a floating charge converts into a fixed charge. If a company fails to repay the loan or enters liquidation, the floating charge becomes crystallized or frozen into a fixed charge. With a fixed charge, the assets become fixed by the lender so the company cannot use the assets or sell them. Crystallization can happen if a company ends operations or if the borrower and lender go to court and the court appoints a receiver. Once crystallized, the now fixed rate security cannot be sold, and the lender may take possession of it. Typically, fixed charges are secured by tangible assets, such as buildings or equipment. An example of a floating charge can be seen in the case of Macy's Incorporated, a large department store in the US. Let's say the company has entered into a loan with a bank using its inventory as collateral. The lender has ownership of the inventory, or a floating charge, as stipulated within the terms of the loan. Here are three key takeaways. 1. A floating charge is a security interest or lien over a group of non-constant assets that change in quantity and value. 2. A floating charge is used as a means to secure a loan for a company. 3. The assets used in a floating charge are usually short-term current assets that the company consumes within one year. Hope this would help. Thanks for watching.